in search of future medicines. Divers from the Kiel Center for Marine Natural Products at Geomar collect sea sponges on the Adriatic coast of Istria. The deep sea robot Rof Kiel 6000 takes a sample from a depth of more than 1,000 meters near the Cape Verde Islands. Dr. Rudiger Stör, microbiologist at Kiewitz, gathers red algae and breadcrumb sponges in the Kiel Fjord. The search for microorganisms that live on algae, sponges and other marine creatures leads the Kiel team around the whole world to the deep sea as well as to their local beach. Microorganisms collected by scientists from different parts of the world produce substances that may one day provide cures for cancer and other diseases. These compounds are analyzed at the Kiel Center for Marine Natural Products. A team of 30 biologists, chemists, pharmacists and biotechnologists supervised by Professor Johannes F. Imhoff investigates bacteria and fungi from the sea. The Kiel Center for Marine Natural Products is devoted to the search for new natural products from marine microorganisms, with good reason. The oceans harbor an immense diversity of microorganisms. We are only familiar with a small number of them, possibly only one in a thousand or even one in ten thousand. Many of these microorganisms produce active substances. Since we still know very little about the substances produced by the microorganisms that are known to us, there is obviously a great potential for the discovery of new drugs. Secondary metabolites play a crucial role in nature. They mediate communication as well as providing protection against competitors and infections for algae, fish and other marine animals. Interestingly, many of these compounds also have biological properties that are of potential interest for medical applications. They may serve as antibiotics or as anti-cancer drugs. It's a long way from the discovery of a substance to the production of a new drug. The Kiewitz covers all stages, from sample collection right through to the product development. First, the samples are transferred to a solid culture medium. The different microorganisms are then separated step by step. The process needs to be repeated several times until pure bacterial or fungal cultures are obtained. During these initial steps, the scientists do not know what kind of natural products they will eventually be able to isolate. The pure cultures are stored in the Kiewitz collection. This unique archive of about 15,000 marine microorganisms is of great benefit to the scientists when they are looking for new substances. In this way, they take full advantage of costly and time-consuming expeditions, and nature is saved. The identified microorganisms are cultivated under various conditions and extracted by solvents. The structure of the compounds within these extracts and the effects that they produce are then established through extensive analyses. Every step requires concentration and precision. For example, the work with high-performance liquid chromatographers, the HPLCs. This technique is used to separate different substances so that they can be individually identified. A chromatogram shows the results of the analysis reflecting the chemical composition of the compounds and their purity. Models help to understand the elaborate chemical structures of the substances. The ways in which they may act become clearer too. A pipetting robot enables the simultaneous testing of a large number of substances for a wide range of effects. It can thus be ascertained to what extent particular substances may be effective in the treatment of specific diseases in humans, animals or plants. In addition to chemical analyses, our biological assays are a core part of our work. They identify antibiotic or anti-tumoral activities of the compounds. Their effectiveness against metabolic diseases, such as diabetes, or non-medical applications, such as protection against plant diseases, are also tested. If a promising agent is discovered, 
Larger volumes are cultivated in order to provide sufficient qualities of the desired compound for further analysis and to prepare for industrial production. At Kiewitz, a 250-litre fermenter is used for this purpose. The products of this fermentation are processed using the established methods until the natural product is finally available as purified dry substance ready for further treatment. Kiewitz establishes an archive of natural marine compounds that are available for science and industry. Active compounds that have marketing potential are protected by patents. Further analysis and development is then carried out together with suitable partners. For medical application, preclinical and clinical testing is necessary before a drug can be approved for marketing. All compounds originate from the sea, where many other treasures wait to be discovered.